Good morning, love groomers. How are you all? I hope everybody is surviving this hectic, crazy time. Um, wanna take a moment to show you guys how to use the Yuppie Puppy Bath Brush. If you didn't meet me in Atlanta, hi, I'm Donna Amandas, and I am the creator of the Yuppie Puppy Bath Brushes. This is the original. I had it made so it is shaped for your hand, so you do not have it go flying out of your hand when it gets all soapy. So, this is the new Peanut. It's been out on the market for a year. Groomers were wanting a smaller version. It's perfect for tiny feet and faces. The bristles on the original are soft enough not to damage the skin, won't even bloody a mole. Um, they're amazing uh, for getting crusty stuff off their skin so it can heal, especially when you're using medicated shampoos really lets it get in there and do the job. So, to show you really quick, this is how we clean the brushes. Um, I have an old Tide Pod tub, and I fill it with cold water in the morning. And I've already done that. And I put a couple of caps of bleach in it. Just a couple of caps of bleach, and I just let them soak through the day. So, um, Everybody says, you know what, I've got a recirc. I don't need anything to scrub with. Well, I knew that there had to be a better way to scrub with because you do need to scrub. Scrub gently. Um, I knew there had to be a better way than using a rubber curry or a shower scrubby. This is Spencer. He's a little three-legged, sweet Cocker Spaniel client of mine. As you know, Cocker Spaniel ears are very thick. So this is one of my favorite uses for the brush. Not that I don't use it on every single dog and cat that I groom. Excellent for cats. Gets that crusty, greasy stuff off their skin. Um, horses, bunnies, pigs. Got a, yep, got a groomer friend who uses it on her pig and loves it. Um, but they work amazing on just about anything with fur. So, I have Spencer wetted down with my research. Give this a quick brush, a quick rinse off out of the bleach water. And then I'm gonna go about just putting a tiny bit, see that, of product on the brush. This is what gets deep down clean. Going with the grain, with the uh, direction of his coat. And yes, you can add a little bit more water when you need. As you know, Cocker Spaniel's ears are super thick. So, that is something that you want to space pay special attention to, but you can even get like really good, just give them a little massage in the ear canal. Look at the lather that'll make. Right down to the ends. Since he is three-legged, he tends to drag his little ears in the dirt, don't you, Bubba? So this brush makes it extremely easy and gentle. Gently gets right kind of down in their ear canal without doing any damage. Get that greasy stuff off there. So as you can see, the shampoo that I put on it is carrying on. This thing really saves product. Mobile groomers, you'll love it because I know, boo-boo. Um, you, you need to conserve your water. You need to conserve your time. You need to conserve what electricity you need to generate. So this will seriously save you about half the product that you would normally use without one. It just keeps going. Yeah, so the hard to reach places, 
you know the hard to reach places. Woo! This is a great thing. And as you can see, it's not bothering him. It's gentle. Um, really saves on hand fatigue because I'm just lightly holding the brush and letting the bristles do the work. So this is a hard to reach place. As you can see, it's coming right out the other side. You can't do that with your fingers. It doesn't work as well anyway. So, that is, that's the original Yuppie Puppy. Now the reason why we created the little baby brush, the peanut, is like I said, groomers wanted a smaller one. Um, for tiny feet and faces, people with small hands, it will get right where you want to go, especially on Shih Tzus that you know you don't have much room between that little nose and their eyes. So it's going to go through, like I said, they both do, they go through and they pull out any debris. It's awesome for bringing stick tights to the surface. We've all had those clients, you don't want to have to pick it out, but it brings it right to the surface and most of the time they just rinse away. So the more you can get off in your tub, the faster your dries and your finishes are going to go. So when I'm done using them, so we've got some dead hair in there. So I'm going to turn this to gel spray and just blast it out of there. There it goes. Gone. Throw it back in my bleach water. Same way with the big one. Blast it out of there. If you don't have that capability on your fresh water, just use a comb. It's fine. A little bit of hair left in it is going to get uh, sanitized by the bleach water. So, anyway, I hope this helps. Um, if guys have any questions, please don't hesitate to holler at me. YuppiePuppyBathBrush.com, all with Y's. And thank you for watching.